हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जो आई निंजा सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एस टेबल सो एस टेबल इज यूज्ड फॉर क्रिएटिंग टेबल बाय यूजिंग टेबल टैग वी हैव फॉलोइंग टैग्स टू क्रिएट डाटा अंडर टेबल टैग फर्स्ट इज टी टैग व्हिच इज यूज फॉर ईच टेबल रो एंड नेक्स्ट इज टी टैग विच इज़ यूज फॉर टेबल हैडिंग and next td tag is used for data cells the elements under td are left aligned by default there is an attribute named border that is used for border across all the cells so here is an example to create a table that we will discuss in the sublime text editor so open the sublime text editor so first we add table tag and next we add tr tag for table row in between that we add th tag for table heading like name and close this add num number of table headings like this employment id and next is salary and here we close this table row we can add number of rows and next row with tr tag in between that we add table data for td tag we use td tag add some data here in the td tag and next add employment id of data next salary in the table td tag and close this td tag here we close this row with tr tag and we create number of rows like this here we close table tag save this file and see the result on the browser window this table don't show the border so add border attribute in the table tag so open the sublime text editor add border attribute in the table tag and given value is 1 save this file and see the result on the browser window this table shows border with border attribute so next is cell padding and cell spacing attributes there are two attributes called cell padding and cell spacing which you will discuss which will you use to adjust the white space in your table cells first is cell spacing attribute defines space between table cells and cell padding attribute represent the distance between cell borders and content within a cell this diagram shows the meaning of cell spacing and cell padding attribute next is call span and row span attribute call span and row span attribute are used whenever we need to merge cells of the table call span attribute is used to merge two or more columns into a single column similarly row span is used to merge two or more rows into a single row this diagram shows the meaning of call span and row span attribute so we use these attributes in the sublime text editor first open our code and add in the table tag we add cell padding attribute that is used for show the distance between the 
border and the content of the table we add value of the cell padding and we use cell spacing that is used for the distance between the data cells of the table add the value is set save this file and see the result on the browser window this shows the spacing of the cell padding and cell spacing and next we add other attributes call span and row span in our code so we add here number of rows like this and we merge two rows by row span attribute two employees have same salary so we add here row span attribute is two value is two save this code and see the result on the browser window two rows of the data are merged by row span attribute and next we add call span attribute in our code we add one more row here in between that we add some data save this add, we add here call span to merge three columns save this code and see the result on the browser window to merge three columns last row shows the result of call span that merged three columns so thank you if you like this video so please share like and comment in next video we will discuss html forms so keep watching and happy learning thank you